He also admits that peace in a marriage. So he was talking at one point about, you know, people wanting peace in a marriage, peace in their relationship. They just want to come home to a happy home and be a, a peaceful place, a warm, inviting place. He said, and he used the word really about six times. He said that peace in a marriage is really, 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 really hard to attain. True peace, he calls it a high level goal, the promised land. So I found it interesting that he was admitting that there's all this fucking work that you have to do to put all your assets at risk of losing half of them because a, a prenup won't hold up after about seven to 10 years anyway. I mean, they're only good for a few years and if she stays working to end up in the promised land of peace in a relationship when you can just have peace by not inviting somebody into your house and getting married and living in a way the state gets to fucking mess with your life. So it's an interesting comment, but I thought I would, you know, I thought I would frame it from that angle just to sort of offer a little bit of insight in it. Um, let me go back over here. Sorry. Let's see, there's a couple of super chats that popped in. Uh, Paulus man, please say, your, please share your thoughts on women. You are dating spinning plates while you are also spinning plates. I think it's disgusting and not sanitary. No men in my circle have an issue with this. So I'm seemingly alone in my views. Uh, please share your thoughts on women. You are dating spinning plates. So are you talking about women dating a bunch of guys? I think it's disgusting and not saying, yeah, it's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting, but that's what a lot of women do today is, you know, they'll just keep dating a bunch of dudes until the best one shows up or until she thinks the best one shows up and she hopes that she can lock them down. Like a woman's sexual strategy is to try to get the best guy that they can get. That's what hypergamy is. Um, so that's why you end up with women that rack up a huge Knox count. There's a video I put out on my uh, Entrepreneurs and Cars channel um, the other day. If you haven't seen it, it's got the title something about like 100 plus men. <laughs> and this woman wrote in, um confused as to why she was having a hard time finding guys to look past her promiscuous 20s she's like oh i you know i only slept with 100 guys and i was lucky to only get an std once blah 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 and it's like guys think that's disgusting they don't want anything to do with promiscuous women on a long-term basis and statistics prove they are a horrible option to invite into your life as a wife so why would you do some stupid shit like that um so we're talking about peace, really, 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 really hard to attain. He says it's the promised land. So he's, it appears to be, in, you know, like an admission of this is really fucking hard to accomplish, um, which I would agree with. He says that you get to peace. Here it is through negotiation. Shocking, right? The pathway to peace is untying the knots in the rope of your life is what he says. Well, good luck with that, given the current environment. And if you don't get it right, you're basically putting half your shit at risk. And 80% of the time, uh, you're only going to see your kids every other weekend if you're lucky. That's how the, that's how the cookie crumbles. And I'll get into my stuff in a, a minute. Uh, I mean, most sides can't, he admits we get tangled up. Uh, yes. Okay. And he spent five, maybe 10 minutes talking about the differences between men and women, which was a decent segment, I think, but where the whole fucking thing falls apart for me is he offers no risk mitigation. He doesn't deal with any of the, any of the realities of what women want in a long-term relationship. And, you know, dude, he's like, he's the guy that's all about fix, fix your house before you try to fix the world, right? He's like, clean up your room, make your bed and clean up your room, get your life in order. But hold on a second. Didn't his daughter get divorced? And word on the street was when he was in Russia and her husband, she was still married at the time from what I understand, was there taking care of the kid and the father in Russia when he was going through his fucked up shit. Apparently she ran off to Romania and had a little bit of fun with uh, Mr. Tate while married. So, you know, like the whole fix your house thing first, I get it, dude. Like it makes sense, but... Have you taken a look at what your kids have done? Like, I don't know what the dude has done, you know, his his son, but Michaela isn't exactly an uh, icon, you know, to be worshipped, if we're being honest, based on what I've heard anyway. So, of course, there's people that are going to deny 
but that didn't happen. That didn't happen. Okay, well, that's not the word on the street. Hey guys, I really hope that you enjoyed that short clip. If you did, consider supporting the creation of content by checking out my supplement line. Pinned in the top comment below of this video in the comments, there's a link to the unpluggedalpha.com forward slash shop. Uh, when you click through, you'll be able to land over here and the entire lineup is broken down by category that it performs best in, estrogen metabolism, fat burning, your foundational essentials for health, immune health, performance, and testosterone support. If you check out with coupon code alpha10, you'll get 10% off on your first order. There's also the option to use the subscribe and save model where regular shipments will be sent over to you on a regular basis. And that gives you a little bit of a discount and your supplement facts are always broken down over here. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have an awesome day. And again, check out that link. It's pinned in the top comment below in this video. Peace out.